I'm looking forward to every panel, but this one in particular, I think, um, is a must-see for literally everyone. I want to start by asking all of you, um, give us your own bird's eye view as to the context of where we are in brain health where we've come and where we're going. So in our clinic, we saw about 25,000 patients last year, and majority of them have Alzheimer's disorders. And some of them actually were brought to the clinic with just very mild symptoms. And then some of the patients were as young as 40, 45 years old. So I think to your question, then we are really seeing younger and younger people coming to our clinic with the potential diagnosis of Alzheimer's. So what's happening in the past? In the past, then, we diagnose Alzheimer's based on clinical symptoms, right? So you bring the patient to the clinic, we do a bunch of paper and pencil, and then do some blood work, and then that's, that's Alzheimer's. But then there wasn't a definitive diagnosis unless there was an autopsy. That's usually a little bit too late. Right. And in terms of the treatment in the past, also was very, very limited. And there wasn't really an early detection. So we have to wait until the symptom become quite severe. Either you know, patients were very agitated with psychotic symptoms and started to wondering, forgot to turn the stove off. Then that's when the, pa the patient's family bring the patient in. So now it's actually changing because of all the education, Alzheimer's Association, and among with you know, the governmental support, then people are becoming much more aware of what is dementia, what is Alzheimer's. So the diagnosis is becoming early and earlier. And also in terms of what the tools we have to detect Alzheimer's. Now there have been some report about, you have seen probably the blood test, you know, the 10 panel of the lipid and the 10 panel of the protein. So now that it's possible, we can really just look into your blood and say if you may potentially have the Alzheimer's even now or down the road. And also with the imaging, it's fascinating. Just in the last five years, FDA has approved three tracers which would allow us to see the toxic protein built in your brain, that now we can really see the toxic protein in your brain. So we know that the people talk about, you know, the eyes are the window to your brain. Now we actually see the imaging can show us if you have that toxic protein or not in your system. Another thing I want to talk about is the exciting area of the whole clinical trial. We are doing so many clinical trials that at my center we are doing about 45 clinical trials, and we know that clinical trial really is the only way that we can get a drug from the bench side to the bedside. So I think we are very excited and a cutting edge science right now.